Mm. Be miserable down below, I guess, but just beautiful up here every day, including yesterday. Just warm and sunshiny. We feel this thing today. So you haven't missed any days riding. Please make sure you start on Mondays or off. Yeah. 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 Ye
There are many cases of divided families and separated spouses that can be easily resolved, and we'll be watching. In our contacts with Soviet leaders, we've also pushed for the settlement of regional conflicts that have brought destruction, misery, and death to the peoples of Afghanistan, Angola, Cambodia, Nicaragua, and elsewhere. If an overall lessening of tensions is expected between the United States and the Soviet Union, the Soviets and their clients will have to show a readiness to accept peaceful, negotiated solutions instead of prolonging bloodshed. The issue of embassy security was forcefully raised as well. Secretary Schultz let it be known that recent Soviet espionage outrages have gone beyond reason. Today, the United States and the Soviet Union have an opportunity to take tangible, step-by-step -step progress toward a more peaceful world. This is in both our interests. Nowhere is that more evident than in our talks about reducing the number of nuclear weapons threatening mankind. An actual reduction in the number of nuclear weapons would be an historic first, an accomplishment both sides could build upon for further progress. Secretary Schultz reports that his talks in Moscow left him optimistic that an agreement to reduce the number of longer-range INF missiles is within reach. Significant issues remain, and our negotiators will intensify their efforts to clear them away when talks resume in Geneva later this month. When Mr. Gorbachev and I met in Reykjavik last year, we reached an understanding on some of the basic tenets of an agreement to reduce intermediate-range missiles. In the intervening months, we've been encouraged by signs of Soviet willingness to remove the roadblocks that have been holding back progress. In Moscow, Secretary Schultz sought to clarify the Soviet position. He reaffirmed the basic structure of the Reykjavik formula, and both governments agreed to the principle of on-site verification. Shorter-range INF missiles, weapons that are of direct concern to our European allies, were also part of the discussions in Moscow. Both sides of the table agree that a limit should be set on the number of these shorter-range missiles and that a global framework will be the basis of discussion and that the principle of equality will govern. Secretary Schultz has briefed our allies on the details and has given me a full report on their initial reaction. Direct consultations with our allies will continue on further negotiations and plans. We must look at this issue in a calm, careful, and deliberate manner. When I return to Washington, I will meet with the bipartisan congressional leadership to review this week's progress. It's my hope that the process now underway continues to move forward and that Mr. Gorbachev and I can complete an historic agreement on East-West relations at a summit meeting. Finding the pathway to a safer, more peaceful world will take unity among free peoples, as well as all the courage, tenacity, and hard-nosed bargaining power we Americans can muster. Secretary Schultz was scouting out the way in Moscow. Our message is, we are proceeding. Until next week, thanks for listening, and God bless you. Gave him back about three or four seconds. Stay down One here. and three quarters here. seconds. One and three quarters. <laughs> right. You got some photos outside. Yeah. Secret Service, CD, Walker. Where's the thing I give away? What's next door in this room? Oh. I shouldn't go out there without it, should I? Have it? Where is it? Oh, again?
going down to Santa Barbara for a few more years. My retirement down there. It's a good time to retire in two years. It's a good time to retire. Two years. You think about it too long. I'll be hanging around by this end of the state too. We'd like to extend an invitation to the Mormon Church to not want to use to give you well taken care of. Let him go. Thank you. leaving us after five years, being up here at the ranch, and uh, the bigger better thing. This is Danny Guerrero. I enjoyed it up here very much. It's a real pleasure. Thank you, sir. Mr. President, Commander Bear, Chief Dolphin. Commander's been up here for two years and is responsible for all the duties up here. Chief is the one Yes, sir. I'm delighted to. I know the significance of this and what it means in the Navy. There is a story of ducks and their egg laying. Well, oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. You only have to mention something and it's delivered the answer. Oh, great. Yeah. I think that came by way of Frank Carlucci. Oh, yeah, that's great. I was wondering who did that. Yeah, I didn't know that he was an authority on ducks and eggs. <laughs> It's freezing. <laughs> it's cool. 
you told me you had alcohol in the radiator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get the Baileys out. That'll warm you up. <laughs> well, okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Go. What? All right. We're trying to record it. We're all hiding this time. I don't think it's going to John, he says he's going to make the call up. Yes. And then if you guys can... John. Uh, yeah, yeah, I told him we'd be ready to go for breaks and not tell anybody.